try to get you know into these things. Now that you're informed, don't just you know do anything with it. Just get connected. You know, start asking about all the things that are going through the library and church. We want you to be part of it. But now that's it in the ways of announcement. Right now we're going to go into our time of service where we worship God through our get us to, through our uh, tithes and offerings. You know, and uh, what it is is a it's a, it's a way to, for us to continue to do what we do week in week out in, in the place this place we call home. See, you know, because of our generosity, we're able to open the doors of this place, of this venue, so that everybody could hear the good news. Yeah. See, you know, the word is not only for us to hear, it's for everybody to hear. So there's a lot of work to be done in the city, you know, so because of our generosity, we're able to accomplish that. So right now, this time where we get to participate, you know, for this type of worship, I'm going to introduce one of our leaders, one of our amazing team member, Ruth. It's 13, 16, and it says, But do not forget to do good and to share, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. And what I was saying a moment ago about singing is, again, God gives us all sorts of gifts, right? And the first one, don't forget, we have a, a responsibility to come every week. They expect that the doors are going to be open in this church every week. The next thing that popped out of me is to do good and to share. And God didn't give me the gift of singing, but God blessed me with a job. And what I can do with those financial gifts that God gives me is give some of it, just a portion of it, back to the church. Right? And if it's not, maybe my financial gift can go to open up kids' ministry. Maybe my financial gift, those kids are going to learn about Jesus. Maybe my financial gift can help an outreach that goes to the keys of an outreach downtown. Maybe my financial gift keeps this church open so that I can invite someone to come and, and hope that they raise their hands and accept Jesus in their hearts. And again, it's a sacrifice. God wants us to be obedient to this. And as he mentions at the end of this verse, if we do that, he's going to be pleased. Will you join me in prayer? Father God, thank you. We pray, God, that this offering that we give tonight can be multiplied and be used here in Miami and in the world beyond. All these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now if you can check the screens for some church news. Amen. 